Okay, so a few things have happened <laughs> since creating the last videos. So the last videos were more about my recent trips to the hospital and my experiences with my body and the conversations that we have with our bodies, right? Uh, in the last few days, I had a very different experience and I wanted to talk about that for all of you that are still trapped in these old patterns and how we can resolve them, what it's really about, you know, what it's really pointing to every time these patterns come up. So what's happened is I was planning to visit my parents this year. That, that's the plan. I haven't seen them in person for 15 years now. And uh, I was trying to book the flight to go and see them. Anyway, or the flights, because it's quite a few <laughs> different planes you've got to hop on to, to get there. So as I'm organizing the best dates for me, what works for me, and seeing what sort of, you know, time I can get off here or there or whatever. There were two specific dates. There was one for September. That was the original one that I was thinking of because the prices are cheaper that time of the year to go to South America. But ideally, January was the better time because I didn't have to worry about doing the piano lessons. You know, I didn't have to cancel any lessons. They're all on break in January. And even though it's a little bit more expensive, my daughter's at home. I didn't have to worry about her going to school or how she was going to get to school. Uh, all of that was, you know, would have been resolved. Anyway, as it turns out, the universe just works in magical ways to help you out, you know, um, when you trust in it. So what was left for me to resolve, you know, because things keep coming up and you think, oh, I thought I'd already healed this. I thought I'd already resolved this within my field, you know, <laughs> within my energetic field. I thought I'd already dealt with this and I'd already made peace with it. But I find it's like a spiral going up, 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 like just like with my body. I'd been through it three times. But this third time, because of my level of awareness, my consciousness, like where I am at the moment, I dealt with it very differently than the other times that I had to go through it. That gallbladder attack and the symptoms that come up, even though your gallbladder has been removed. You can still get that sort of gallbladder attack and the digestive system just poops itself <laughs> and decides to not work for two weeks. <laughs> just doesn't want anything in there. Anyway. Things keep coming up and they'll keep coming up and it's not that it hasn't been resolved and it's not that it hasn't been healed but it's for you to look at it through new eyes through the eyes of more awareness and more awareness and more awareness as you evolve you know spiritually anyway so what happened was and it's just to share because, you know, you might be looking at me and think, oh, she's got it all figured out. She's got it all together. And no, things still keep coming up, right? <laughs> but it's how we react or how we respond. If we choose to respond instead of reacting in our old ways, you know, the, the old patterns that we'd set in place from way back, right? So I sent, you know, my parents the two different dates and... My dad came back to tell me that I was not welcome to come in January, right? That basically, those were the words. They didn't want me there in January because my sister goes every uh, Christmas, you know, to spend with them. And for those of you who don't know, my sister's not talking to me. And that's all explained in that book there. <laughs> but we can do another video if you want that redone, right? I totally understand why she's not talking to me. I get it. Um, but there's nothing I can do about it. Right, you know, over the years I've tried to apologize to her and she just wants nothing to do with me. She just doesn't want to resolve it. So, you know, at the beginning of this year, I sent her the last message because I figured, um, yeah, you know, if that's what she wants to experience, then I should stop interfering with that. You know, that's what she came here to experience, that anger with her sister, that not being able to forgive, all of that, you know, um, that's her and it's got nothing to do with me so I've blessed it 
you know um i gave her my last i you know i'm sorry this is what you know the whole explanation of what i was going through trying to explain to her that you can only hurt others when you're hurting inside all of that but it doesn't mean anything because she doesn't want to have a relationship with me and i've made peace with that oh, a long time ago you know i don't need to have her in my life to feel joy or to feel love or to feel anything i'm really grateful that she came right because of all the experiences i got to have after she was born my life would have been completely different if she had not come so and i asked for her when I was little, I actually asked for her. <laughs> so, you know, she was meant to be in my life. To give me the experiences that I had so that I can be here now talking to you. Right? So, that's that. They didn't want me in January because my sister's there and she's there till about the 14th or something. So he said, you can come after that date, but not before. Because we don't want you to you know fighting or we don't want any conflict you know we don't want to deal with your problems you know the problems between me me and my sister whatever they are they my parents don't want to get involved I don't want to be stuck in the middle and that's fair enough but what came out of that was that I was triggered right uh, I was triggered because <laughs> I thought, well, hang on a minute. She's been seeing you every year since you moved there, except for the COVID years that they weren't allowed to travel. Um, she's seen you every year. I haven't been able to see you for 15 years. And the one time I've got the money to pay for the ticket to go see you, you're telling me, don't come, right? <laughs> because your sister's here. And she's priority because she is here every year. Anyway, I got super triggered. That, that morning and usually in the old days when it was something related with my sister I would spend days or even weeks crying upset you know it's not fair it's, I was the victim I'd become the victim all this sort of stuff so that morning when dad sent me that message I did send him a message back right and in that message was all the hurtful feelings of ever since she was born you know I became second I should have been born second and all this stuff I'm throwing at my poor dad <laughs> that had nothing to do with him because he was never home he was always working he had no clue what was going on in the house right my mum ran everything uh, my dad was a bricklayer so he worked really long hours and on weekends he was really tired he would rest so we didn't get to see much of him but when I did get to see him he was present you know and he was loving like I could count on his love and it felt unconditional to me you know that it was always there no matter what like he really saw me you know and anyway so I spat all that back at my dad you know that oh, I'm second I'm second I'm always going to be second doesn't matter what I do you know and <laughs> you know he came back, he was quite hurt, you know, by my message. And I feel after that he needed that for his own healing. You know, there was something inside of him. I never go back now and think, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, it was a mistake. Oh, it was, I always feel now, I realize because of how it affects me that what I say or what I do, my actions towards others serves them. Even if you're looking at it as, oh, that's a negative thing. That was a, a nasty thing to say. Even for yourself, when you interact with others. I want you to really think about this. I'm going to work this video around this thought. Everything you say and everything you do, every action that is with another person, where you're in contact with someone else or something else, you are serving that person that thing whatever it is that you're interacting with your energy is interacting with another energy when you're unkind to someone else when you say something mean to someone else you belittle them whatever it is that you think oh you know you you feel ashamed of that inside of you you are serving that person because in that moment you're giving them an opportunity to look at why they would get upset about what you say or what you don't say or what you do or what you don't do. Why are they getting triggered? Why are they getting upset? You're actually pointing to something within them that hasn't been healed. It hasn't been resolved. 
the reason you're mean or nasty or whatever it is that you're putting out into the universe is because there's something hurting inside of you. I know because I've been there. And the only times in my life that I have been cruel to others with my words is when I was in a lot of pain inside. That was the only time I've been able to behave in that way. It was because I was suffering so much inside myself that I just lashed out at everyone, at everything that came in my path. So there's an opportunity for you as well. You know, if you're being mean to others, if you're putting others down, to look at yourself. Why do I need to treat others like that? What is it within me that is causing me to behave that way? But never beat yourself up about how you treat others or it doesn't, we didn't come here to all be just loving and gentle and kind and you know, all of this. We didn't come here just for that experience. So that's really important that you get that into your head. When you hurt someone else, you are actually being a gift to that person. You are giving that person a gift to look inside themselves as to why does this hurt? What does it matter? Especially if it's a stranger, if you've said something to a stranger and you've upset them, what does it matter? They don't even know you. What does it matter what you say or don't say, you know? So yeah, I just really sit with that today and think about it. When you hurt others, it's because there's something inside that's in turbulence. There's something inside of you that's not at peace. There's something inside trying to tell you, I am not comfortable, I'm not happy, I am not. At peace. I need you to look at this, I need you to resolve it. And when you realize it within yourself, you will start to see it in everyone else because that's what happened to me. When people would lash out at me, I'd be like, whoa, dude, you got a hell of a lot of pain going on in there. <laughs> like I couldn't, once I saw it in myself, I couldn't take it personally anymore. It was like I would see people and all I would see was their anger, their pain, their frustration, their guilt, their shame, their all of that in their words, in their actions, in their, you know, when they're coming at me, it was no longer, it was like watching a movie, like, oh, dude, that's a lot of pain or that's a lot of suffering, you know, that you're holding on to inside. So, yeah, once you see it within yourself, is that you can actually start to see it in others. And it just makes it so much easier because you no longer take it as a personal attack. You take it like, oh, they just in pain and haven't healed it. And so they're just letting me know that they're in pain, <laughs> that they're hurting somewhere inside. So yeah, this video has gone a little bit long, but it's such an important lesson to understand that you are expressing what is inside of you. If it's pain, you're expressing hurt and pain. If it's anger, you're expressing that anger. If it's fear, you're expressing that fear out into the world. So have a look at what is coming out of you. And then, you know, there's, I've made so many videos. There's over 500 videos now talking about how to resolve all of that. But in the next video, just I wanted to share something magical that did happen when I got triggered by my dad. All right, my darling? Mwah! I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.